Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our urban worm bag that has the African night crawlers in it. So it's been seven days since I added the rice to it, and I want to see how the temperature is doing and if the worms have sort of found this food and kind of congregated there a little bit. So with that, we're also going to just check to see if there's any bugs or issues maybe because I, I didn't have food in here before. You know, there might have been something that kind of got in there or maybe is multiplying that was already in there. So we're just going to kind of take a look, see how it's doing, and make sure uh, that there are some worms in there. If not, the next time I do an update on my African Nightcrawler bins, I'll take out some worms and we'll add them to the system to kind of try to get this going again and get these, uh, these worms bred in here. So with that, let's take a look at our system and see how it's doing. All right, here's our urban worm bag. As I said, it's been seven days. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to come in here and just take a look at the temperature. On the top here, it says 72 degrees, it looks like. Oh, let's start dropping a little bit. Okay, 72 degrees or 22 degrees uh, Celsius. So now let's see how it looks on the inside here. We're just going to kind of open this up. Let's take a look. And I'm not seeing any fruit flies or anything. That's always the thing that worries me. Let's just check the top of this box here. Again, it's about 22 degrees or 21. It's dropping a little bit, actually. 21.5 or 70 degrees on the top there. But remember, the top is sort of just a sh shield. And the idea is that this is going to hold in the moisture. So let's just see what it looks like underneath here. We're just under here. I don't feel any heat or anything, but let's just see what it looks like right here where we added the food. And look at that. We're showing a little bit warmer, maybe. It looks like it depends where it is on here. But I'm not seeing much heat. I thought there might be a little bit more, even though it's been seven days. So now let's dig in here and see if we see any heat in there to begin with. I'm going to put this down, grab my glove. And the question is, is have the worms found this food source yet? So we've got this kind of chewed up box right here. Not seeing much on here as far as worms or anything, but that's not surprising. But we had the food down in here in this center section. I'm already seeing some mold. Let's just kind of flip this around. It looks like it's, whoop, we already have our first worm. So it's definitely finding this area. Let's just, actually, while we're, while we're got this open, that's definitely the rice right there. It looks like it's a solid pile. And that is showing, um, 78 degrees or did for a second 75 there we go so that's definitely warmer and for those that want it in celsius 75 or 25 degrees celsius so you can see that this rice is definitely adding heat to this system so let's just kind of grab this right here take a look at it so we got this big chunk right here of rice this is where the rice is there we go we can break it apart you can see it's all kind of moldy in there, but it's definitely generating some heat. That worm is not moving. Oh, he's moving a little bit. There we go. I was going to get a little bit worried there, but I'm not seeing any other worms. In the oh, there we go. Another worm in the area. Another African night crawler there. So we've got two worms that have found the food on top here that's warm. You know, I'm going to keep that together right now. Let's just sort of dig over here a little bit. See if we see anything off in the outskirts. So, you know, it could be a little bit too warm for them. You know, some of them might like it a little bit more chilly. Oh, I think it might be the same worm we found before. Actually, let me put them over, over right over here. Oh, there's another worm right over here, or a couple. Let's find another worm in that corner. So what I'm hoping to do with this is to lure them sort of all to the same section. This is actually growing some mold on it on the side here, this bag. Try to get them all into the same section, but I'm not seeing a whole lot, which is kind of worrisome. I'm wondering if that some of them really died off in here um, due to the cold weather before they were able to get their cocoons out there. We might actually have to uh, repopulate this system. Is there another worm right over here? No. So I think we are going to have to repopulate the system. So the next time I do an update on my African Nightcrawler systems, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some worms. We're going to come back in here. We're going to take a look at this system again, and I think we're going to add some food um, to, to maybe create this hot spot in here, just like we did with the rice. This was a small amount of rice, but I think we'll add some food in here, and we'll kind of go from there. I'm not seeing any bugs. I was a little worried that maybe uh, some fungus gnats or something got in here because I've added food, which I didn't have in here prior. 
But uh, it looks like nothing's found its way in, which I'm really glad to see. And let's just dig over here. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that side, but let's just take a quick look. I'm not seeing anything over there. Just see if we see anything over in the, on the outskirts here. I know these worms are supposed to be very, very fast at populating a system. I don't know if that one was on top before or not. But hopefully we can get them kind of moving through this material a little bit. Kind of going through towards this food that's warm. Get them even if they just eat the cardboard, that's fine. But just get them a little bit more together and hopefully we can see them start to, to multiply in here. So that's the hope for this system. I'd really like to get the system going. Um, I think we will have to add some more African night crawlers though. And I think I will the next time I do an update on my African night bins, which should be in the next night or two. So with that, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Other than that, this urban worm bag is working really well, just like it did before. And uh, it's really good at containing these worms. I think that uh, these uh, African night crawlers have been wandering out of the bin. So I'm hoping it'll kind of contain them in here a little bit better than uh, my open totes that I have. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.